Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this tutorial series, we are creating this QR code generator using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. And in the previous video, I showed you how to design this using HTML and CSS. So here we can see this is how our design looks right now. In this video, I'll show you how to add the functionality of generating the QR code. So for that, we're going to use a library called QR code. So let's get started. <laughs> Now the first thing we need to do is we need to get the CDN of QR code library. So if you go to Google and just search for QR code CDNJS, you'll find this link of CDNJS.com. So let's click on this link. And here we can see this is the CDN of QR code.min.js. So let's click on copy script tag. And let's go back to our source code. And let's go to the HTML file and I'll just paste the link over here. So this is our CDN of qrcode.min.js. This is the library that we're going to use for the QR code generation. Now, if we take a look at this uh, division here, we can see we have this division with the class of QR code. And in that we have this image for the styling as of now. So let's remove this image from here. And we're going to use a real QR code over here. So let's go to our main.js file. And we have already linked that over here. So let's go to the main.js file. And let's see how to create the QR code. Now if you go back to our design here we can see that uh, we have this text field and this button over here and the image of the QR code is now gone so we have to generate the QR code over here. Now in the beginning what we will do is we will have a sample QR code and in that we will have just a text of uh, some information about our application. So let's create a variable called message and I'll just set it equal to write something in the text field and click on generate QR code button and now let's write the code to create the QR code so let's create a variable called QR code and we need to set that equal to a new QR code object so let's tap QR code now here you have to pass a parameter so the first one is the division for the QR code so if you go back to our index.html file here we can see we have this division with the class of QR code so let's reference that over here in the JavaScript. Here I'll just create a constant and I'll just name it QR code image. And I'll just set it equal to document.query selector. And here I'll just type QR code. So here for the first argument, let's type this element over here. And the next one is uh, the options. So let's create an object for that. Now in this we can have different options. So first of all, let's add the text. So the text is basically this message right here. So I'll just type message over here. And then we can add other options like width and height. So let's set the width to 300 and let's also set the height to 300. And then we can add the dark color and the light color. So for the color dark, let's type 001219. And then for the color light, let's just type white color. Right, so now let's go back to our design and here we can see we have this QR code and if we hover over this QR code here we can see it says write something in the text field and click on generate QR code button so our QR code generation is working all right now the next thing we need to do is we need to generate QR code based on the text that we have inside this text field so for that let's go back to our code and we need to reference some of these elements from the HTML file the first thing we need to reference is the text area which has a class of QR code message. So here let's type const QR code message equals document dot query selector. And let's type QR code message. And then we also need to reference the button because we need to perform the action when we click on the button. So for the button, we have this class of generate BTN. So let's go back to our main.js file and let's type const and uh, I'll just name it generate BTN. And we'll just set it equal to document.querySelector. And uh, here let's type generate BTN. Right now we need to add an event listener to this generate BTN button. So let's type generate BTN dot add event listener. And we need to listen for the click event. And when we click on this uh, generate QR code button, we need to create a new QR code. So let's create an arrow function over here. And the first thing we need to do is uh, we need to change the message variable which we have over here to the value of this QR code message. So let's type message 
equals QR code message dot value. So this will store the value of this uh, text field inside this variable right here. And the next thing we need to do is we need to generate the QR code. So for that, I'll just create a function and I'll just name it generate QR code. And we will pass the message as an argument over here. So let's type message. Right now, let's create this function. So I'll just type const generate QR code and we will have the message passed over here. So I'll just name it message. You can name this anything you want. And here inside this function, the first thing we need to do is we need to clear this QR code right here. So for that, you can just type QR code, which is the name of the variable of our QR code. So let's type QR code dot clear. So this is a function that we get from this QR code library. And the next thing we need to do is we need to create the QR code. So for that, we have to type QR code. And in the library, we have a function called make code. So let's type make code. And we need to pass the message over here. So I'll just type message. And uh, now let's go back to our design and let's see whether everything works all right. So in the beginning, we have this QR code with this message of uh, the instruction. And now let's type something over here. I'll just type testing one, two, three. And let's click on generate QR code. Now we can see we have a different QR code and let's hover over this QR code and let's see whether the message is displayed correctly. And now we can see it says testing one, two, three. So the QR code is working all right. So in this way, you can go ahead and add any text over here or any website link you want over here and just click on generate QR code and the QR code will be generated over here. All right, so that's basically how you can create a QR code generator for your website using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So that's it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below and I will leave the link of the source code in the description. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.